Well, with this many tomatoes coming off the vine, I'm getting an education today in how to make posada. Right, show me how it's done, Bryn. Wash them. Wash, wash, wash. All right, they're washed. Now what do I do? Uh, chop them. All right, cut them. What do I do next? <laughs> oh, shit. I meant to do that. Cook it. <laughs> Sorry. How long do I cook it for? It's pretty cooked. Is that is that enough? Yeah, you can use it like that, or if you boil it down more, it'll become like a tomato paste. Oh. You got any jars? Oh, I'll go get some. Right, we have jars. What happens next? Bottle it. You get a big pot, and then put them all in. Fill it up with hot water, and boil it for ten minutes. All right. Are we done? Ooh, look at that. Homemade posada, thanks mostly to Bren. And label them. Labeling, very important, because you can also repeat this for any fruit of your choice and uh, bottle all of the things. See you next time for more COVID-19 permaculture pandemic solutions right here in the tea house.